this is the CND channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for you. Uh, I'm going to be doing my prediction for XFC 14, which is going to happen on October 21st on HDNet. Um, and there's actually some notable names on this card, like Jamie Varner, um, Carmelo Marrero, and um, I, I'm looking actually most forward to Mariana Kafetz. Um, she's a, a female prospect. If you haven't seen her fight, she, she's 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 good she gets kind of sloppy in the stand up sometimes but uh, overall uh, she's a good prospect um, so yeah let me just uh, uh, do this uh, predictions um, the main event of the night is going to be Nate Jolly versus UFC and WEC veteran Jamie Varner you know Jamie Varner last fought in Titan and he lost to Dakota Cochrane not great for Varner, considering that he has a pretty well-rounded skill set, I'm going to go with Varner here because I know he's capable of uh, doing well. He's still pretty young, dude. You know, the guy's only 26 years old, uh, but he's pretty well-rounded. Um, he had, you know, he has strong kickboxing. Um, his wrestling and jiu-jitsu are very good as well. Uh, I think there's something wrong with his mental game sometimes. I, I, I can kind of see that. He's only really won one of his last six fights. He had a draw in there with Kamal Shadow Roos. Uh, the thing with Nate Jolly, though, I mean, uh, Goodman has uh, recent fights have uh, gone to decision. But he, he, he's only been doing like MMA for like three years uh, professionally. And he mainly fought like regional fighter regionally around uh, the southeast of the US so I gotta go with uh, Jamie Varner more experience against a uh, stronger competition uh, and he does have a good skill set despite him not looking that great um, recently uh, next fight after that we got heavyweights as uh, Scott Barrett is gonna fight Carmelo Marrero you know I got Barrett winning this one he is on a win streak and also like pretty much like all of his last like nine wins have been by like, KO or TKO. He's had some losses, like a loss or two. I think just one loss, like within uh, that frame. Uh, Marrero, though, man, uh, you know, UFC vet. I mean, this guy's fought Bader. He beat Chuck Congo, and, and it makes me want. You know, he's fought Gonzaga. Um, it makes me wonder with him though. It, it, you know, if he can utilize that strategy on Congo and Bear. You know, like. You know, using wrestling and grappling to win to win this. Uh, I still got Scott Barrett though um, taking this one. Okay, next fight after that we have a uh, women fighting as uh, Mariana Kafetz is gonna fight Molly Halsell. Um, I'm not gonna pick the girl Halsell who's on a four fight losing streak. Um. You know, uh, she, she's fought the better talent, though, overall. She, she's fought some top uh, females out there. Um, but, you know, I got to go with k -Fats. She's been winning. Uh, she won. She's only had three fights. Two of them were won by Triangle Choke. I remember a fight with Caldwell went the distance. And that's where I saw. I mean, she was going about like, spinning back fist sometimes and whatnot. That were kind of sloppy, you know. It's not like her stand up stand ups like bad or anything, um, relative to her experience. Um, so I, I gotta go with K Fetch. She's she's on a you know she's like a de a definite women uh, female prospect. I'm kinda surprised uh, Bellator hasn't signed her. I, I think she fights at one twenty five. I wonder if she can make 115 I and they've all, also had fights at 125 as well already um, so I, I expect big things from KFETS actually uh, as far as like the women's MMA scene goes okay next fight after that we have Josh Clark versus Reggie Pena um, I'm gonna go with Reggie Pena to win this one I, I don't wanna get Clark he's coming off a two fight losing streak he, he's he's had like half of the amount of fights that Pena has had. Pena has had like 13. Clark has had 6. You know, I'll go with the guy, um, Reggie Pena, who has uh, more experience, more fights, not coming off a losing streak. Okay, next fight after that, we have Charles Blanchard versus Elijah Harshbarger. 
Um, you know, uh, with, with Harshbarger, I remember seeing uh, losing to Ben Saunders. <laughs> um, that's pretty much how I know him the most. Uh, to be honest, so I'm gonna go with uh, Charles Blanchard here. You know, Blanchard though. I mean, this guy's beating guys like Judo Jim Wallhead and the Phenom Douglas Lima. Uh, and Lima is now in the finals for the Bellator Welterweight Tournament against Ben Saunders. Uh, he he does have some good wins. Um, he also trains at a very strong uh, camp in American Top Team. So yeah, gotta go with uh, Charles Blanchard to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, we have uh, Mike Bernhard versus Mikey Gomez, or Carlos Mikey Gomez. Um, Bernhard's actually, you know, he's, he's pretty good. Um, he's still young, 26, and he does have some notable wins over, like, Luis Palomino and Dragan Tesanovic in uh, Bellator, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, I gotta go with Mikey Gomez. He, one of my problems is... Uh, he is coming off a two-fight win streak, but that was after a four-fight losing streak. Granted, it was uh, guys like Jesse Juarez, Andre Gavao. Um, uh, I think he lost a War Machine as well. Um, he was actually pretty decent. Um, you know, he he de he's fought in like Elite XC and Bellator. I looks like he's coming back up, like I said, two-fight winning streak. He also reps uh, Irvine, California. He, 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 he hails from there. Um, Got to go with the guy from South Orange County. He's right next, pretty much right next door to me. Uh, Going to go with Mikey Gomez to win this one. Um, his submission, I believe he's a Gracie Baja guy, and he, he, he has the uh, submission wins, eight submission wins to his record to prove that. Hopefully he can... Uh, take Bernard to the ground and, and possibly even get the submission here. Okay, and finally we have Bruce Connors versus Lawson McClure. Um, I got to go with McClure here. Two fight winning streak versus a guy who's coming off a two fight losing streak and is in his he's like 32. He's not I mean you know, that's not old but in MMA once you reach like when you're in your, like this 30s, you're like you're in your prime or like getting past that, you know. Um, I I don't know too much about these guys, so but I, I'm just gonna go with um, Lawson McClure. He's the one coming off the win streak, and that's pretty much it for my um, XFC uh, 14 predictions. If you have any comments, just leave them below. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.